Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to another Patreon request. As you might have seen a while back, I uh, uploaded the first one um, and then it ended on like a huge cliffhanger. And then I was like, oh shit, I'm, I'm really thinking of just like checking out the next episode just for myself not to record it. But then very luckily the same Patreon um, recommended the second episode. So that's very nice because I really wanted to know what happens to the guy. Um, before I start, I want to tell you that if you want to request your own video, TV show episode, movie, video, whatever, it's all possible on my Patreon, the link's in the description, so check that out. But the last time uh, this episode ended on, I think it was the firefighters who ran into a building and one of them got shot. Then it was like this really intense thing because then the police came and it was just very intense and then in the end they got him out of there and he was in the hospital um but yeah it ended with that like we didn't know if he was gonna make it what was gonna happen to him so uh yeah i'm very curious about that so now i am going to watch the second episode what i really liked about the first episode is that it had a really fast pacing and it switched from like police officers firefighters and paramedics uh so you constantly had like a really interesting storyline to follow and even if there was like a part that wasn't that interesting then it went just really fast and you just went to the next one so yeah, I'm just gonna check out the second episode now and um, yeah, let's see. Tonight on third watch. Oh, they even do like recaps before the show. That's wild. That is so... What was the show from? 1999, I think? Yeah, my bird ear. I also just watched a recap from the previous one and there was a lot I didn't think about anymore. But like this guy, the fire where the, the woman threw out the baby. That was just wild. Where are they now? Are they at the building now where that happens? Yeah, I think so. Hey kid, stay with me, okay? I thought I was chasing him, but he, he wasn't there. Uh, I guess he got away when you decided to jog up to the roof instead of securing a building so he couldn't get out. You take Creed, you wanna bitch at somebody, bitch at me. I'm senior, this is my screw up. Of course, then I'd have to bring up some embarrassing highlights from your star-studded career. <laughs> Did anybody see this guy? We'll catch the killer while you go write a summons or something. Let's go. You did not have to be out in that cesspool of a neighborhood. Go work for a hospital on the island somewhere safe. I get that their families are like really worried now after something like that happens. Could have been any of them. Thanks. Or she is his family. Okay, yeah. I screwed up. She secured the perimeter, made sure you couldn't get out the building. You made a bad call. Learn from it. Yeah, I think that's the best thing you can do. Medics aren't supposed to go in without us when shots have been fired. What are you saying? It was their fault? You don't follow the procedure, this one can happen. Oh yeah, the, the guys who went in were paramedics, right? Yeah, yeah, not firefighters. Let's go. Look, Geronimo, maybe the kid will take a look at him, right? He doesn't even know where he's going. Like that's I forgot about this guy. I don't know how I could forget about him because he's the most annoying one of them all. Bella Sullivan? Your extra guns? So what happens next? You guys unzip, I get a tape measure? I'll keep it with Michael, this is apartment. Oh. okay for me to crash here. Oh. And then you trust that. Very smart. I mean, I guess if you're desperate, she seemed desperate. I have to say it took a few like minutes to get back into it, to like remember all the storylines and all. But um, yeah, <laughs> they got like the first thing where they are right now, first case. But that's what I like about the show. Like it's not just one case. It's just like so much stuff at the same time. What happened to her? What? Uh, oh no, that's Julie. She's okay. She's a few too many kamikaze. <laughs> no way, we found her like this. Guess who? Sunny. Uh, again. The crack house at the end of the block. Somebody ODs, they haul them out here and dump them. What? Get a every month. I, was, I was thinking about going to medical school. Oh, right. Since when? Hey, Jersey, what's your name? Amy. Amy Bryant. Meet Bobby Kathy. My pleasure. Is she flirting with him? Hi. Someone's dying. <laughs> Can we get something to eat? No, thanks. Some other time. He's hey, trying. Stop. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I feel like they had a rough start, but I, I think they're gonna be good partners. I get it, it's just like weird for him in the beginning. So we'll cut back. And what? Food, heat, or clothing? Who's fighting? We are. You hear me yelling? How do I fight? You answer everything with a question. That's fighting? Dude. <laughs> okay, if 
I ask one more question? Could I have some pudding in my lunch, too? Right. When the shooting started, I backed against the wall, and I just... I froze. That's why I didn't see much. Bro, what, what were you going to do? Yeah. Hi. Waiting for an unsuspecting virgin to wander by? Well, I, uh... I missed your birthday last month, so... <laughs> That's wild to come up with that a month later. Bulletproof vest. Yeah, ah, I know okay. it is to me, but why'd you get it for me? Well. Better get some sleep. Want me to come up? No. Is it just me or is it kinda creepy to just stand there for waiting for someone to come back from their shift? Of course they have a history, so sure, but I don't know. I wouldn't feel comfortable if I had like a night shift and I'd come back like tired as fuck. Especially after all of that happened and then like my ex or something was just waiting there like, Hey, got your gift. Oh God, please. <laughs> hmm. He made it through the surgery. We were able to repair the pulmonary artery damage. But, but he's going to be okay, right? He's in extremely critical condition, but the immediate family can go back. <laughs> so happy he made it. I was so scared there for a second. Your family. Michael Daniels, 19, paranoid, schizophrenic, off his meds. Okay, that explains says a lot. The subject believes agents of the government are out to get him. They sure as hell are now. <laughs> Eyes and ears open out there. Shouldn't they all like wear bulletproof vests? So, 43? You can't turn this piece of crap down. It's either full bore screech or off. You be a real cop? Get the hell away from Sullivan as fast as you can. Oh, the Come dog. On. Such a cutie. Maybe I got the wrong kind? Uh, wait for Jerry. Aww. I met Jerry's wife and kids. So, you, he wasn't gay? <laughs> Jerry pushes all the bunks together into the middle of the room. Gets all of us to strip. <laughs> You're getting buck naked. Jerry walks up to him and goes, Your bunk's in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is wild. <laughs> you think you were coming in today? I got a shift. We would have covered for you. You know, we're just talking about all that crazy stuff Jerry always did. How about we don't talk about him in the past tense? Yeah, that I, I knew he was going to say that. That did sound kind of weird. The stuff he did. He's still alive, right? Boss. He pleads insanity and the taxpayers spend the next 20 years paying to rehab this wacko. Still a nut job says he thinks. He thinks the guy's probably okay if he stays on his meds. They let him out. You know what happens next? He shoots someone else. He stops taking his pills, cuts up his grandma with a linoleum knife, sleeps next to the body for three weeks before old Aunt Sally comes by to check on him. That is very specific. A posse they would have rode out and come back with his ear or something. End of story. What? No, he's got some kind of problem with me. Yeah, you hit him in the back of the head with a nightstick. I was swinging at the guy we were subduing. Riley got in the way of the what? old geezer. Shouldn't have been there anyways. Too many a glancing blow. He took ten stitches. What? <laughs> Tell him. You could at least feel guilty. It's not a bad idea. You don't wear one. I don't have a kid. Yeah, I don't need to be reminded of my responsibilities. Thank you. Keep I still feel, feel like they should just all wear it as so long as they're looking for this guy at least. But I, wake up and I take good care of my son. Right? So I don't need you or my mother or Jimmy to tell me what I should Slay or shouldn't do, queen. all right? So you're not going to wear it. Is that what it was like when my father was killed? What? Oh, shit. Just I don't know many details. But what the hell kind of details? I don't know, just whatever you... I can't help you. Hey, D.O. Let me buy a watch from him. Damn thing's always slow. What's up, Oliver Sullivan? I'm looking for a nut job named Michael Daniels. Don't know him. Hey, he tell you I got some good watches? <laughs> All right, I got that covered, man. Hey, right. Thanks, Pete. That's what I find out, baby. Thanks. All right. Been the hospital all night. And then you come in for your shift in the morning. Jesus. Want to talk about it? I feel like it must be so awkward because he's also just new there and now everyone is in such a mood because of what happened, obviously, but then I, I feel like it would be awkward. Not to mention, it looks like I'm wearing a barrel. It's pretty good to me. Your idea of a dirty magazine, a soldier of fortune. <laughs> hey, Did you have to embarrass me like that? Sorry, I'll go back to letting you do it yourself. I mean, yes. you were being rude. That's what you what get. Him? How yeah. did I say that? Fuck around, find about, find don't out? I don't know. Anymore. We're not gonna leave him here. Come on, gorgeous. Up. I, I didn't know it was gonna be such a big thing. I and I, I forget it. I mean, I get it. It's like Gosh, a big thing for both of them, but I mean, it's his son. 
it's obviously a bigger thing for him, but he was probably there when it happened, so it's also like a traumatic experience for him. So maybe just not the right person to talk about it then, maybe. Or let some time go over it, you know? Maybe one day he'll open up. Oh. Hey. Didn't really get a chance to meet I constantly feel like they could be like friends because they both <laughs> just started the job, so they're kind of in the same position now. I feel like I'm working with my grandmother. She's pretty quiet. Nah, she's a bitch. They just went in there for coffee and let them wait outside. What the fuck? How you doing? I'm not the one who got shot. Yeah, but come on. You don't think about quitting. Only met 25 times a day. Why don't you? He's not over yet. No way. You didn't even look at him. He's banned. How can someone be banned from detox? He bit the director last time. So what <laughs> are we supposed to do with him? You're not leaving him here. Yeah, what do you do with these kind so of people? Maybe one of the church programs. Shut up. Maybe listen to him for a second? Look, because it's all the same thing. Ignoring a problem until it's too late. It happened because someone was ignored. It happened because Jerry got careless. Look, that could have happened to any one of us. We're just lucky. Yeah, I hate that, that he keeps blaming Jerry for it. Up at I'm careful. I pay attention. I don't walk into some dangerous situation without backup. That must be getting shot. <laughs> Did you crap in the car? Yeah, I thought so. Honestly, also <laughs> karma. <laughs> he slaps me around and then he comes out with handcuffs. He was assaulting you. Yeah. So, uh, so I was, uh, making like I was into it. Then I, I take his clothes and stuff and I ran. Where's his stuff? Oh, I, well, I, 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 I took out what he owed me, money-wise, but, uh, nothing more. Where's he? I'm gonna take care of this for you, Amber, but you're gonna have to do something for me. I'm looking for Michael Daniels. Crazy Michael? Yeah, he's holding up somewhere. <laughs> everyone knows him. Or not you, everyone, Sally. the other guy didn't, you're but he has a reputation. So she's a prostitute, huh? Can't slip nothing past you. <laughs> I said you up with Dana. What the hell's up with that anyway? I'm interested in somebody else. Complicated. You're a handsome guy. It's a damn waste. Why don't you turn into one of my sisters? I got three already. That's enough. He got three sisters. Damn. Damn. Put that back on if we got another call, right? But Jerry gets hurt, so now I need protection. Mind your own business, will you? You sit around waiting for mystery woman to uncomplicate I mean, herself. It's her, Dana's right? gonna come to her senses. That body? And she likes you. Go figure. Hmm. Thirty grand a year versus two hundred thousand. Gee, I wonder who I'd pick. Why don't you just say it? I, I hit against the wall, and there's nothing that I can do to change that now. I'm sorry. I'm talking. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, I keep going Stop over Stop blaming over yourself. I just, I just, I you got the right car? Hey, God! I stole my car, my money, my credit cards. Not to mention your dignity. Hey, prostitution, no. Absolutely not. You get your ass back up to the upper whatever side before I lose my sense of humor about this. Lock you up for solicitation of prostitution, indecent exposure, and battery. Money, my credit card. And if I see you or this Mercedes again, I'm gonna kick your ass up somewhere between your shoulder blades. Are we clear? <laughs> yeah. Ah, here we go again. Oh. Right. I would not be so chill if I was hanging there. How do you even... How does that happen? I'm not big on heights. Hold on to my legs and I'll lean out. You're heavier than me. I'll lean out. You hold on to me. I thought you didn't like heights. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, are they waiting for them now? <laughs> oh. Maybe he'll be safe, turn over a new leaf. Oh yeah, like a week from now he'll be feeding the hungry in Bangladesh, not face down in a gutter somewhere on 3rd Avenue. Show some compassion, it can happen. You know, we should have done everybody a favor, put a bullet in the back of his skull, weight him down with rocks. He is such an asshole. What do you need, sir? There's a building on the corner I'm supposed to start remodeling tomorrow. There's a bunch of people squatting in there. Yeah, well you want to see some compassionate community policing? Lead the way, pal. This fucking guy, what is he gonna do now? Oh my god! Uh, can they hurry? Oh shit! I didn't see the guy was bleeding that much. What the hell took you so long? He had an assault on a woman who robbed the guy that hit her, and nobody gets arrested. There were two douchebags who met in the normal course of being douchebags. What could an arresting somebody do? You don't like it? Quit. 
Your mother and I would be delighted. They're all up there on the second floor. Not for long, they aren't. I wonder what they're gonna do about this. Or what he's Everybody gonna else, do about this. He is so careless. I mean, what do you think he was gonna do? You were against the wall, I was under the stairs. Trying to get to Jerry, and that's when the guy started shooting again. I didn't even try. That's when the guy shot him the third time because I was trying. Exactly. Like, you really can't do anything in that situation. It was just waiting for backup because the guy kept shooting otherwise. They found Amos. Bitch, that Roscarelli already going inside? Oh, damn it! We think Daniels is in this building. Surprise, surprise! That's Daniels. what I thought too! And he's so fucking careless! I need to speak to you outside. Just tell him what's Roscoe. going on. Then he'll at least maybe oh, be damn, more careful. Uh -oh. He turned it off. Shit. Mm. Come on, let's go. Shit, let's shit, go. shit. Son of a bitch. Fuck. What the fuck? Uh, the way I, I wanted to watch this episode because I wanted to know how it would end with the guy. And now he's shooting other people again. Yeah, please do something, do something. Shoot him. Okay, good, he's out of ammo. Was he also wearing a vest? Or was he just lucky? Ah, oh, shit! <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? He just jumped out of a fucking window! This guy's like possessed. Why can't I feel my leg? Oh shit! Can you call my mom, please? Please call my mom. Thank God for bulletproof vests. Ah, okay, good. I should have shot him, but you didn't. I was so scared he was like gonna die too now because he was lying there for quite a while with his eyes closed and. She said seventy. It was like okay, the first guy survived it. Now he's either gonna die or he has a bulletproof vest, but it's not gonna be the same as the other guy. Don't look so good. Oh shit! Okay. Let's take a walk. Oh shit, is he gonna tell him about his father? Sally, what are we doing? Oh my god. Oh, is he gonna like show him where, where he was shot? You don't have to do this. Oh shit. This used to be a pretty heavy drug spot. I used to walk it a couple times a ship. There were a bunch of guys hanging out on that bench. There was a radio playing. Some kids were playing on that swing. He like that's something you wouldn't forget. Like all of these theory. details. I guess that just stays with you. Your dad was laughing about something, I don't remember what. And there was this loud bang from behind us. I turned to look. The guys on the bench were running. Your dad was laying right there, shot in the head. One second your dad was laughing and next he was dead. Damn. What kind of details you want, I don't have. That was the worst day of my life. Mine too. Even if they aren't the details he wanted. I think that already like helped him a lot. As in... Oh, it's over already. Like, he was probably a child when that happened. So, um... Yeah, now that he's like old enough, you know, and now he's with the police himself, I think it is nice to like, even though it's really hard to know how it happened, where it happened, to just get more insight in how your father died. So um, yeah, I'm glad they finally had this conversation. I also feel like if they wouldn't have, that this would have just kept being a problem between them. Like, I really do like their dynamic as in, um, 
he just wants to like look out for this kid because his dad was his partner and yeah he doesn't want the same to happen to him and he's like that was the worst day of my life it was obviously also the son's worst day of his life it, it, it i guess it must kind of feel like he gets a, a second chance or something i don't know so i think it, it all makes sense that in the beginning that he was kind of mean to him it was just like he didn't want him there he didn't want the same to happen to him as what happened to his dad but i think he's starting to accept more now that okay this kid is not gonna leave he really wants to do this and he's very dedicated about being a police officer so he is not gonna leave yeah i think now that he's like coming to terms with that he's starting to accept more that okay i'm not gonna get out of this i i'm gonna tell him the story about his dad he's gonna start to respect him more and all so um yeah it's it's also it's kind of like i said in the, in the beginning i think i said that about them like they got a rough start but i think they're they're starting to understand each other more and honestly i think if they have been partners for like a few months years whatever i think they can be like good friends because they have this kind of similar experience like they share this experience uh the rest of the episode um Honestly, the moment Bosco ran into that building and was being so careless, I was like, okay, fuck, but they're still looking for this guy. He's just gonna shoot you randomly if you run up to him or whatever. And he was just opening the doors without even looking. He was like, yeah, get out, get out. And then I'm like, dude, there, there could be dangerous people there, especially if you're looking for the psychopath. Then I instantly thought like, okay, this is gonna go wrong. Something's gonna happen. He's probably gonna be there. Then indeed he was there. Um, but luckily he was wearing a bulletproof vest though. I feel like, okay, now they got the guy, but in these situations, I, I maybe like that's a good thing to start thinking about now that this all happened. To just start wearing bulletproof vests in these kind of situations for everyone, not just the police maybe. I don't know, I think they, they learned something from what just happened to the guy who was shot three times. So um, the whole vibe from that incident, you just felt it throughout the whole episode. And I think they did that very well. Like everyone was kind of... Not like mourning because he's not dead, but you know what I mean? They were just like feeling the, the aftermath of what just happened. And um, yeah, it was very, like some very touching scenes. Even though it's like a really fast show and a lot happens. Um, but then at the same time, they make room for these really emotional and touching scenes, especially the last scene. Um, and everyone kind of talks about it in the meantime. So um, yeah, I, I like this episode. I'm glad I, I got to react to this one too, because... It's nice to get like the follow-up from the episode I reacted to before, otherwise it would have just been like cliffhanger by. This one ends less on a cliffhanger, but the third one was also already requested. So I'm also going to react to the next episode um, for next time. If you want early access to that, check out my Patreon and also if you want to request your own stuff. And then that was my reaction to this episode. So let me know what you thought of it. If you liked it, then please leave a like, subscribe, and um, then I really hope to see you next time. Bye!